Good morning. Today we're going to talk to you about information security. Let's talk to you briefly about the situation lately. As you know, the safety and security of the internet has been threatened. 2007, Estonia suffered a massive cyber attack. In almost three weeks, vital parts of the internet network has to be closed from access from outside the country, costing millions of dollars in economic loss. And Astras, a Spanish company, were also attacked by international hackers. And also recently, in 2009, about 10 million computers were infected with the conflict worldwide. The French Navy has to grab all maternity plans when the fashion is found down. In the UK, the worm infected computers in the important places and government office across the country. And also in Germany, computers in the network of the army were also infected. Link, can you tell us more? Uh, yes, more recently, a sophisticated malware threat targeting industry system was detected in Germany, Norway, China, Ireland, India, Indonesia, and other countries. The malware known as Stuxnet. It spread via USB devices, it hidden in files with extension .lnk, and it was executed automatically. In Germany, it infected Windows PC running the SCADA from a company. As of 2001, EU had independent groups of experts that were responsible for responding to incidents in information security. However, this group lacked coordination and did not exchange much information. To overcome this, 2004, European Commission established ENISA. In November 2010, ENISA organized the first pan European Critical Information Infrastructure Protection, uh, in short, CIIP. Recently, Euro Commission has launched the Digital Agenda for Europe. The goal of this initiative is to define the key role that information and communication technologies will play in 2020. So talk about the information security. We have to understand some facts and the information of it. Yes, like what right. is a botnet? And do you know the digital agenda of Europe and the main part of it? And also, how a cyber attack can be carried out. And also, the weakness exploited by malware. That's some point we have to look to. So, uh, can you tell us what is a botnet? Uh, okay, now we will give the answer to these questions. Uh, first, a single bot is a software program that can, when surreptitiously installed on a person's computer, execute certain specified commands. A botnet is a network of autonomous malicious software agents that are under the control of a bot command. The network is created by installing malware exploring the vulnerabilities of web servers, operating system, or application to take control of the infected computers. And here's an uh, image that describes more about deeply about the botnet. Also, you can see that the, the hacker can uh, spam your mails like yeah. almost in every computer that he install a botnet and that computer is called zombie because they can function by and has to uh, listen to the master the the computer of the hacker so what about the digital agenda of europe um as i mentioned before the goals of the digital agenda of Europe is uh, defining the key role information and communication in 2020. Another is making broadband speeds of 30 Mbps available to all European citizens by 2020. Okay, a cyber attack. You know, hacking is coordinated by using a large number of compromised servers organized in the botnet distribution around the world. There are three basic parts to a cyber attack. First is access. That is a method to get inside or gain access to the network or system. Second is vulnerability. 
Somehow the system that attacker can take advantage of or manipulate. And third and the final is payload, the purpose of the attack, namely what exactly the target and how significant the damage. That's how a cyber attack can be carried out. Well, as we mentioned before about malware, now let's talk about the weakness exploited by malware. Oh, I just know that it's a really dangerous thing, so can you tell me more about it? Well, the weakness may be exploited automatically by malware authors' creations or mainly by a term we'll generally call attackers. There is vulnerability, in fact, web page or in fact, email. That is so simple. Like, we go into web page every day and we have to see our email every day, so it's like, it's easier to hacker to attack our computer, right? And also through USB. And of course, generate other malware. That is the weakness exploited by malware. Wow, that's so dangerous. So do you have any suggestion for company to avoid a cyber attack? Well, you can educate employees about data security and privacy. As someone who worked at IT consultant has said that it doesn't matter what firewall or intrusion detection you use if your employees don't understand the significance of data privacy and protection. No one in your organization will care about data security, privacy policy, intellectual property protection, or data breach until you tell them why it's important and how can it impact them and then tell them what to do to prevent it. That is my idea. Do you, so Link, do you have any more suggestions? Uh, well, I think that we also should establish cyber security rules, establish rules of behavior describing how to handle and protect personally identifiable information, clearly deter the penalties for violating cyber security policies and uh, maybe we should also have information security policy for social networking. Yeah. Do you know that social networking sites are under no contractual obligation to provide information security for companies whose employees post to such a site? Companies should have official information security policies for social network to make sure that sensitive corporate data is not placed on these sites. That's my suggestion. We just talk about the information security. So I know it's hard to it's hard to prevent the cyber attack because now the hacker is more intelligent and the, the technique they use is more like it's complicated. Um, yeah. So we hope our talk today will help you understand more about information security. The hacker not only attack your information but also your country. There's been several cases as we mentioned before. Hackers now carry out the worldwide scale, such as the Navy, the military, and also the government. Yeah, yes, they are more dangerous, more and more dangerous each day. We hope that our talk today can help you to know more about information security and also some way to prevent the hackers from attacking your information. Thank you for paying attention and have a nice day. Goodbye! Goodbye.